Hey, thanks for clicking on this video. Jurassic Park is my all-time favorite movie, so you can imagine my excitement when these drop in June of 2023. And thanks to a request by subscriber Lost Sheep 26, in this video I'll build, review, and discuss the scene in which this set is based. Before we start, these videos take a lot of time and effort to make, so I'll be randomly picking 5 new subscribers out of the next 100 subscribers for a shout out in the next video. And thank you for subscribing. 76958 Dilophosaurus Ambush contains two bags, 211 pieces, one Dennis Nedry minifig, and one Dilophosaurus. The description on the LEGO Builder app reads, Dennis Nedry is driving away in the Jeep with a can of stolen dinosaur DNA, but it's raining hard and on his way to the east dock, he loses control and crashes. Can he get the car out of the mud and escape before the Dilophosaurus attacks? Hello, Newman. No. No, he can't. On to the build. This set uses Technics bricks as a base for the chassis and many snot techniques throughout the rest of the vehicle. The appearance of mud is created by layering medium nougat pieces on the front and bottom of the car. The miniature jungle scene features the East Dock sign that Nedry hits before reaching the Dilo paddock, and the stolen embryo transport device, the infamous cryogenic Barbasol can, complete with foam that is represented precisely by a white frog, keeping with the frog DNA theme that all of these sets share. The Dilophosaurus is as close to screen accurate as LEGO gets, although the size of it compared to Nedry is more book accurate. Nedry himself can be taken out of the Jeep and sports a wet and worried face with glasses on one side and a face full of Dilo spit on the other. Also, did you notice that the spitter gets defensive once Nedry puts his hood up? Almost like it believes that it's another Dilophosaurus. Look, they're even the same color. While I'm not really a fan of LEGO stickers, there are nine in this set. The license plates, door and hood decals, and these muddy footprints on the running boards which I thought was cute because this implies that the spitter got in from the passenger side, but that door was never open. Speaking of which, these doors don't open, so that's a bummer. And would it have killed them to include a winch? Overall, this is a great set for the price, and if you're a Jurassic Park fan like I am, it's a must-have for less than $20. Until next video, this was Made in Bricksburg, and thanks for watching.